Ooh, those are some fighting words, and I am here for it. This morning in the news, this scholar, Abigail George, who studies Emily Dickinson and has written a book about the woman, said that Taylor Swift's work is on par with Dickinson's. I want to know, is she right? I'll go first in presenting some evidence, and then English teachers jump into the comments. Let's kick it around. So I present to you first up Emily Dickinson's I'm Nobody, Who Are You? Where in two short stanzas, she basically shreds people's obsession with fame. Pause it here so you can read it and absorb it. And then we're gonna look at two options from Taylor Swift. You could present these to your students, say which one do you prefer, which one does a better job. But first up is Sweet Nothing, wherein the first stanza of Emily Dickinson's work is expressed by Taylor Swift and that idea of having a, a person who gets it, who doesn't wanna participate in the fame game, her ex-boyfriend. Um, or we could use The Lucky One, wherein Miss Swift talks about a famous woman who has decided this is not the life, that all of the, the glitter in your name and lights is not exactly worth it, which is a sentiment that Emily Dickinson also shared. And you can look at the, at the lucky one. So what do you think? Who expresses this idea better, this fame fatigue or resistance to it? Leave your comment below. Vote Emily Dickinson, Taylor Swift. Also, if you have other snippets of songs that fit this, or you have a Dickinson and a Swift compare contrast, leave it below. I know teachers are going to want to harvest this one.